welcome to ESBR Update. We are your hosts. Uh, Patrick Pullinan, uh, ESBR Board of Trustee member. And, I, <clears throat> and I'm Gary Blodgett. I am the uh, chairperson of the uh, ESBR Board of Directors. Um, we're going to introduce our guest, uh, Miriam, very shortly. But first, we thought we would talk about uh, some of the events of our third year, Patrick. It's our third year of operation. It is our third year, and we're off to a very good start. Um, we had an exciting beginning by um, hosting graduation, which in September may sound um, very different for some people, but um, because of the way our school offers our programs, anytime, anywhere learning, um, we had two seniors that were able to graduate in September, in the opening of our school year. Um, so that was very exciting uh, to host that celebration. It was a great celebration too. We had, uh, we had it in the town hall and um, uh, upstairs in the auditorium, uh, well attended, and uh, even had the, uh, uh, the students, uh, some of the current students, uh, do some singing too at the celebration and some speeches. It was a school-wide celebration and again um, having the ability to offer the anytime anywhere learning. Um, the two students that graduated needed to complete their work which they did during the summer um, which allowed them to graduate so uh, we're very excited about that. And they had some interesting internships and things too but that was that was exciting. We also have um, we have a, a slight increase in our enrollment this year. Um, it, it was great to be able to um, offer some opening spaces to some students. Um, again, we have to limit our enrollment, uh, partly due to our budgetary constraints. Um, we're kind of in a holding ground right now as far as um, meeting our approval through the uh, Department of Education. Um, I'm sure some people have heard about that. Um, it's been a work in progress, but we're beginning to see the light uh, at the end of the tunnel. So uh, looking forward to that. Yes, because right now um, all of our funding for the school is um, mostly by fundraising uh, from our community. And we've had some successful endeavors in that way. Uh, we had the wine tasting and sign on auction with music up at uh, Jackson Gore this year. Um, that was a great, great event, um, very successful. Um, and we're very uh, appreciative of our sponsors and, and uh, the area businesses that donated to help make it successful. So uh, this year we have a lot of exciting things besides the graduation. We also, um, we still have a, a Dr. Kendra uh, Rickerby, who is our headmaster of the school, uh, head of school and uh, some nice programs that we have, uh, additional programs uh, that we have as far as math and uh, language arts and things that I think we can talk about in a, in a future program. Um, we have an increased enrollment too this year, right Pat? Um, yep, this year we are up to 18 students. Um, we were able to uh, increase our enrollment uh, partly because we were um, budgeted to uh, carry additional students, but at the same time, uh, we are limited as far as how high our enrollment can be. Uh, we're waiting for our approval from the uh, Department of Education, and uh, that's certainly a work that's been in progress, um, and we hope to be able to proceed with that um, through the month of November or December at the latest. Yes, we're, we're hoping to, uh, in fact, uh, uh, to be on the agenda of the Board of Education of Vermont in the, in the next month or two so we can plead our case for uh, uh, approval uh, so that some of the tax dollars that uh, our parents are spending uh, can follow them and can add to our coffers a little bit because right now um, the school is funded all privately. It's philanthropically funded um, through our fundraising and um, this year we asked some of our parents to pay a partial tuition or um, if they weren't able to pay the partial tuition to help us out in any other way they can, volunteer some services. Um, and it certainly made for a, a great start of the school year because we've 
do have a lot more family involvement. Yes, um, it's, it's really nice to have the involvement um, of parents in, in the school. Speaking of fundraisers, we did have the, our wine tasting uh, silent auction and music up at Jackson Gore this year. That was pretty successful. That was very successful, and um, I think we need to uh, make sure that we tip our hats to the area businesses that donated uh, um, some of the prizes. We uh, raffled off over 80 um, donated prizes uh, to help raise some funds. Um, as well as some area sponsors, um, local businesses that sponsored uh, the music and the food, and um, we could thank those people as well. Um, they did include some of the local sponsors, Mary Davis Realty, uh, Ted Strauss and Cheryl Leinhart, Engels and Boker, uh, Diamond Realty, M&T Bank, Side Hill Crunchers, uh, Cafe at Delight, uh, Night Tubs, and if I should happen to have missed anybody, I apologize, but I think that was it, complete and, list. Right, and then uh, the local businesses also uh, donated prizes and things to be auctioned off, right? Well, we've been supported very, very nicely by the area businesses. Right. Um, so, um, so as we said, we've entered our third year this year. Um, a lot of nice things that happened, and one of the really nice things that happened is that we now we have an, um, an exchange student from Germany and uh, today because uh, the student is at school but we're very lucky to have Miriam um, who is um, the parent and has an interesting story to tell about her experience at Black River before so welcome to the show thank you <laughs> We're glad to have you. Uh, so why don't you start off with uh, telling us a little bit about your history with uh, Black River and mm -hmm. Ludlow. Mm -hmm. um, I came here uh, when I was 16, so that was 23 years ago, and uh, I came here as an exchange student and went to Black River High School. So, wow. And I'm still connected, still have very close friends here in Ludlow. And it's an honor to be back with my son now. And so what made you think about coming back? Well, the first point was, of course, visiting my friends. But I, I haven't seen them in a long time. Um, but also showing my son my experience here and giving him the chance to learn another language. That's yeah. great. And, yeah. and uh, not only are you doing that, but you're uh, contributing like a number of our parents um, to the school. Yes. Uh, what are you doing at the school? I teach Spanish. You teach Spanish, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty interesting yes. for German. Yes. yes, yes. But that's, as you said earlier, that's one of your favorite languages. It is, it is. And languages in general are like my hobby. Yeah, it's, I, I just love speaking and learning languages, so. And how is that going, if I may ask? With the students? Yes. Oh, great. They yeah. like it, I think, yes. They oh. like it, and I do too, and um, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> well, you've also had an opportunity to um, participate and, and, uh, and go with the students on some of their recent uh, events, right? Yes, you yes. went to Weston Theater? Yeah, that was really great. Um, the actors were awesome. The music was great, and also we learned a lot about the history. So, what what did you see? What show did you see? Uh, Woody says. Woody says. Woody says. Yes. yes, uh, <laughs> yes. About the the musician. Yeah. Woody the singer. Guthrie. Yeah. Woody Guthrie. Yeah. Right. Woody Guthrie. I right. heard that was a, a wonderful show. Yeah. It it it. And, it, and the students yes. liked it, and, yes. and then they follow up with writing pieces and yes. and history yes. checking up on yes. that. Yes. Right. And then just last week, you did something very interesting for you, I'm sure, too, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. uh, your trip up north. Why don't you right. mention that? Yeah, we went to Stowe to see, uh, the, fa or to see the family of Von Trapp. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I've never heard about them before, but now I know a lot about them, so <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it was yeah. a great experience, too. Well, most people, when they think of the Von Trapps, they think of the sound of music, you know, yeah. and the hills <laughs> are our lives yeah, yeah, and yeah. things. But you got to meet with one of the family members. Right, right. And, and what did you see up there? Um, so the area looked like um, Austria, of course, yeah. and uh, we met some family members which were really nice, and um, yeah, we got to see the area, we had a guide through the area, so that was a great experience Right. For us. Uh, yes. um, you went up to, uh, was that the first house that they built when they first came here? 
um, up the hill. Um, I heard a little bit about this. It we uh, saw their family. Um, like where they used to live, their yeah. cemetery and all this stuff. Now there's oh. a hotel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now there's yeah. a, a hotel, hotel and a yes, place that to hotel rent. they didn't build right away. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No. And actually, uh, Kendra said that um, um, one of the sons, I believe, right away uh, got involved with the uh, American forces and skiing and and things like that. Right. During right. During that time period. Right. right. Which was uh, interesting, I think, for the students, yeah. and I'm sure they'll follow up with yes. uh, research and writing. And they will and definitely. Yeah. So, Mayor, I'd like to ask you a little bit about your son's experience. Yes. If he's had a chance to talk to you about him, and what's his name? His name is Lucas. Yes. Yes, he's 15. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his experience so far at ESPR? It's great. Yeah. Yeah. He made a lot of friends, and he like he he's really looking forward to go to school in the morning. And he plays soccer every day. Yeah. Great. And yeah. how does he happen to play soccer? What's the experience of playing soccer for oh, him? Oh, he loves it. Yeah. yeah. And they have practice every day for two hours, so yeah. he's really into it, and um, it's good for him. So he participates in uh, the Green Mountain soccer yes. team. Yeah. Yes. And that's part of yes. our member to member yes. program. So. Yes. 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 That's quite quite a. Uh, I think it's a positive thing for our school that students who want to participate in these type of team activities that we don't have <clears throat> can participate with other schools depending on uh, what activity it is and so forth and so he goes over there yes. and he practices and yes. he gets to play yes he gets to play he made mm -hmm. friends there too so that's great yeah. awesome yeah. experience and he has some other interests you said earlier <laughs> <laughs> Girls, probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he is that age. He yeah. is that age. Yeah. And yeah. He's enjoying that, and I'm sure that they are all enjoying him. How yes. does yes. his experience here compare with his uh, experience for education over in Germany? What's the difference, you mean? Yeah, or similarities. Uh, well, I think the most important experience is what I think as a parent to go to another country, learn, getting to learn another, uh, getting to know another culture yeah. and learn another language. Yes. Right. So that's, I think, the most important right. experience. And he goes to a Waldorf school. He does, yes, in Germany. In, in Germany, yes. 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 And uh, tell us a little bit about your hometown in Germany. We live in a city near Frankfurt. It's um, it's a small city, but very nice. Lots of young people. It's a university city, too. Yeah. Yeah, and we have the Waldorf School, which I really like because it's a creative school. Yeah. Um, they do uh, things like playing a theater or working on a, an own project for one year. So he did photography. You know, it's like it's a good school, I think. Great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's there's some similarities as yeah. far as projects and things like that yes. here. Definitely. I know you mentioned you were here on an exchange program. <laughs> That was through the Little Rotary? No, no I think it was some organization. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. So. yeah it might have been uh, AFS. No, it was German, actually. Yeah, it was a it German. It was called okay. Jürgen Mattes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So. At one time, I was on the, uh, the Ludlow AFS right. uh, committee here, yeah. and we had a number of exchange students, and a number of students came through the Rotary, too. Right. I know that Rotary takes great pride in their sponsorship of the um, yeah. Exchange we'll programs have to, in the past. I wonder if we can get her in before she has to go back to a meeting with the Rotary. I'm sure yeah. that they would love that. So up, upcoming events. Oh no, um, upcoming events. Yes, we can do that. Uh, as far as the Department of Education, Pat mentioned earlier that we were going to uh, be uh, presenting to the State Board of Education, um, hopefully at the end of this month or at least by the end of the year, to uh, plead our case for um, um, approval uh, status for the school. And that will mean that uh, the students' um, parents' tax dollars will be able to follow them to our school, um, at, which will help increase our um, budget uh, so that we can offer even more activities and more subjects and, and uh, instruction. To, uh, and, and possibilities. Uh, correct. Currently, the uh, families of the students that attend here, they do pay their tax dollars that goes to the education fund. Um, but since we're not approved, their tax dollars get thrown in the mix with all the other 
tax dollars uh, in the education fund. Um, and as a result, they don't see anything come back to them um, from, their th from their tax dollars. So um, by um, reaching the approval, state approval, um, those dollars will come to the school, follow the students. Right, and so, so we are a recognized school at, at this moment, but uh, the approval process is a, has been a long and frustrating mm -hmm. process um, that we hope that we're at the end of. Uh, thanks to, by the way, uh, some support from our local representatives um, um, who have uh, been inquiring right. <laughs> yep. at the state level. Um, so that will help us and it hopefully will help uh, allow us to have uh, more opportunities for our students and maybe even increase our uh, enrollment. Right. And um, obviously we've been uh, going through this process um, slower than we'd like, but we've hit some speed bumps. Um, uh, the fact that we transitioned the building from uh, Two Rivers Supervisory Union to the town of Ludlow. Um, somewhere in there, there was a process of getting a certificate of occupancy, um, and that dated back to a, a fire marshal's report. Uh, the inspection, there were um, three or four things that needed to be corrected. Um, and those were brought to our attention, um, and the town was uh, very active in getting those resolved, and mm -hmm. um, we're just waiting for a fire marshal to come through. All right, so when you change hands and, um, and you have those new inspections, things come up. Sometimes um, when you own a place for a long time, it doesn't come up, but then when you have a change of hands, then you have a new inspection, and they go, well, what about this that has been there? Um, and that building is, have we decided how old? We know it's more than 80 years old. More than 80 years old. And although I'm not quite 80 yet, I can tell you that um, things run down after a number of years. Don't and, go there, Gary. <laughs> yeah. so, we, um, so we had to do a few things, uh, some new fire doors uh, down in the furnace room, uh, elevator fixed, uh, some stairs fixed. and and the town has really been working to try to have that happen so we can get our certificate of occupancy. And move forward. That'll be another, yep. another thing uh, to check off. Um, we have some, um, we have a, a community chorus too, Patrick. Um, under the guidance of uh, Susan Hafner, who's back year three for uh, ESBR, um, she's great, uh, contributes to students learning, and um, they're very enthusiastic about working with her. Um, I know they've had one or two rehearsals. Um, they've also invited other students in the area if they'd like to join in. Um, they don't have to be an expeditionary school at Black River student uh, to participate, um, and they are welcome at any time. Um, I believe their rehearsals are on Thursdays. And so. they're gonna be uh, uh, walking on the, in the village uh, singing um, chorus, I mean, um, um, carols on December 16th, I, I believe, right? That's what's scheduled, correct. That's right. So, I guess with that, we can say Avita Zane? No, Avita Zane? we're not going to say Avita Zane. <laughs> we're going to talk about Giving Tuesday. Oh, Giving Tuesday. You're right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you, Patrick. Um, We'll say Avita Zane in a little bit. In a little bit. I think so. In a so. little bit. <laughs> yeah. So Giving Tuesday is coming up. It's the 29th of November. Yep. Um, and um, we're hoping that people who are looking for uh, charitable places to uh, contribute to for the end of this year, that you will um, think about our local school here. Uh, and um, this is a, it is a, um, a tax, um, Yes, uh, tax-free, uh, tax, tax deduction. Tax deduction yep. that people can use and, and they can go to our website, which uh, we have right here in front of you. Uh, you should be able to go there and then go to uh, donate. Um, and we're, we're hoping uh, that if you are thinking about doing some contribution for uh, this year that you will think about uh, ESBR, um, and, as a contribution. And I'd just like to add, as I'm out and around the community and uh, talking with people about the school, a uh, number of community members will say that they're excited about what we're doing. 
Um, they hope that we are successful. Um, they wish us well. Um, and giving Tuesday is an opportunity for them to uh, support us to make a donation. It doesn't have to be a large donation, right. um, but Anything. it's just a way of supporting us and, and um, helping us along in our efforts. So uh, again, to visit the website uh, and make a donation would gr be greatly appreciated mm -hmm. and no better time of the year than right, right before the holidays. Right. Okay. So now, now we can say, Abide Zain. Abide Zain. Adios. Adios. Au revoir. Au revoir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.